Hi, it's Adam. My book recommendation is Lock and Key Volume 1, Welcome to Lovecraft by Joe Hill and Gabriel Rodriguez. This Eisner award-winning graphic novel is intended for teens and older. It can be best described as dark fantasy and horror. It recently became even more popular thanks to the Netflix series, which has already been renewed for a second season. Following the gruesome murder of their father in a home invasion, the Locke children moved to their father's childhood home named Key House in Lovecraft, Massachusetts. Key House isn't what it seems. This mansion is full of doors that transform all who dare to walk through them when using the correct key. It is also a home to a mysterious evil creature that will not stop until it forces open the most terrible door of them all. Gabriel's art suits the storyline very well as he masterfully blends a brooding tone with lots of color. This awesome book is volume one of six, all of which can be found digitally on Hoopla. Hey, it's Jillian from the North Branch. This time I'm here to recommend What We Do in the Shadows. The TV series based on this movie just got renewed for season three, so why not check out the movie that started it all? It's about a bunch of vampires that all share a house in New Zealand. They agree to have a camera crew follow them around, and hilarity ensues. They enlist humans to help bring them dinner, try not to get blood on the couch. They pick fights with the local werewolf gang. Now remember, that's werewolves, not swearwolves. And they worry that the police are going to notice the two guys fighting each other on the ceiling with a dead body in the basement. You know, just typical guy stuff. Rated very definite R for language, lots of fake blood. You can either download it on Hoopla or find a hard copy at a couple of the different Peoria branches. I hope you enjoy it. Have a good day. We know the elements of so many fairy stories, right? Humble peasant daughter, king with high demands, the threat of ongoing winter, mysterious forests. But what if the peasant's daughter isn't so humble? What if the king is frozen by promises and the responsibilities of power? What if the petulant prince needs just as much rescuing as any maiden? Naomi Novik's Spinning Silver plays with all of these elements, set in a faraway, long-ago land that borders a fairy world. Miriam is the daughter and granddaughter of moneylenders who saves her family from poverty, only to learn that the frozen road that sometimes appears out of the forest might mean eternal winter for everyone.